All right, let's talk Texas A&M Aggies football. Look, we've got a lot of exciting news for A&M coming into this season. This is a program that's made a lot of big moves this offseason, looking to build off a rather disappointing 2022. And we've got another big addition to this program for the long term. And look, as you guys can see, I'm coming to you from a hotel room a few hours away from my brother-in-law's wedding. That's how important this news is and how much of a big move this could be from Texas A&M going forward. I think Aggies fans will really appreciate this news. Yeah, Nick, I think the Aggies fans are going to set themselves up for a great season this season and for the future, and that's what this move shows. But we talk about this season, Aggies fans. I want to know in the comment section below, we're only a few short weeks away from the season, so let us know what game are you the most excited about seeing. I know there's a few tight rivalries uh, in the mix that probably are good contenders, but also maybe some teams you don't get to play quite as often. Very interesting there. So let us know in the comment section below, uh, what game are you the most excited about seeing this season? But Nick, let's get on into it. What is the latest big recruitment move for a and yeah, so obviously AM under Jimbo Fisher has done a great job recruiting over the last couple of seasons. Had a number one class, I think, of all time a couple of years ago. These past couple of classes have been very solid since, and they are building off of this. We got a report from On3 Sports from the great Hayes Fawcett. Highly recommend you follow him on Twitter for all the latest and greatest recruiting news. But, Myas, if you want to go ahead and throw up the report, I will read from it. Four star interior offensive lineman in Sandre Afua, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, of Seattle O'Day High School announces commitment to Texas AM Saturday night. The 6'5", 295-pounder chose the Aggies over Utah and Miami. The Evergreen State interior offensive lineman joins Coach Jimbo Fisher in the Aggies' top 12 class in the 2024 team rankings. He is accompanied by five-star wide receiver Cam Coleman, four-star defensive lineman uh, Dylan Evans, and others. Afua ranks as the number 117 player in the on-three industry ranking. He also tabs in as the number five player, uh, number five interior offensive lineman and the number one player in the state of Washington. All right, my. so this is what I call winning on the national stage, right? Because we understand all of these programs, all these big-time powers, they win locally. Texas A&M, just like all the other big schools, they're going to do a lot of good things in Texas, a lot of good things in Louisiana, a lot of good things in the Southeast and Southwest. But to continue to make the next step into being a national powerhouse, which is what Fisher is trying to get this program to be, this is why they paid him tens of millions of dollars to get A&M away from a solid team but to a national powerhouse, you have to recruit extremely well on the national stage. And getting the top offensive lineman, the best player in the state of Washington, I think is a huge indication that Jimbo Fisher and his recruiting department is doing a great job continuing to extend their presence nationally. I think this is a great win for the Texas A&M Aggies program. Yeah, Nick, and you think north to south, from Texas to Washington, that's a pretty big jump. That's a huge national move, like you said. So getting this guy who's not only the number one player in Washington, but to boot, if he's the number five interior offensive lineman in this class, I think that is pretty commendable as well. I think that's Absolutely. nothing to be scoffed at. Uh, oh, interior O linemen, I think, are slept on a little bit, but they can be the lifeblood of a team uh, if you have a couple of good ones in there. So I think this is a really good move for them going forward. But this is a guy, Nick, who is a physical specimen coming out of high school. He's 6'4", 3'10", but he looks... Uh, not like what you would think a guy in high school who's over 300 pounds looks like. This guy is just stout. He's very, very uh, you know, top heavy. Got a great upper body. So I think he looks like he is just physically in very good shape coming in to this season. He's got a real high motor in his scouting report. Uh, they talk about just how good he is uh, at you know moving his feet, at great feet uh, at the offensive line position. Really great, great for that as well. So I think this is a great move for uh, Texas A&M going forward. But this guy, I always like to see you know. Who are the guys that are recruiting these guys? Who have they recruited? Do they know what they're talking about? You know, and sometimes it doesn't matter, but sometimes it does, especially when you've got a guy like Steve Adazio coming in uh, to recruit this guy. This is a guy who spent a little bit of time down in Florida, and he recruited a lot of very high-end players. You think of guys like Will Hill, an elite-level safety in the NFL for a short period of time. That guy was very uh, crazy good. Dominic Easley, uh, you know, a good defensive lineman, another edge player we all have heard recently, Sharif Floyd. So this guy knows what he's doing in the recruiting game. He knows talent when he sees it. So the fact that this guy is able to come out, uh, you know, branch it, all the way to Washington and find this guy, the number one player in Washington. I think that speaks very highly just going off of his past recruitments and how good they were. This guy knows what he is talking about. I think this is going to be a big one for Texas A&M going forward. 
And there's one final point I want to end on talking specifically about Afua. Look, the state of Washington, they've got good football, but it's not great football. It's very, it's not even remotely close to as good as a place like Texas or Florida, Georgia, California, or anything like that. And when you have a guy of Afua size, there's a temptation at that level of high school ball. You just play bully ball. You can just demolish people. You can just kind of basically win them in a wrestling match just because you're so much bigger and stronger. The fact that he uses his feet and his quickness so much in his game is a great sign because that's some of the issues with these big-time recruits from these not-as-good football states, especially on the offensive line. They're not used to using their feet to win because they don't have to. They go to a big program, and they really struggle because it's about learning the position all over again, learning how to use their feet as much as their general size. The fact that this guy is already using his feet at the high school level is a sign that he could get into a and program and be an impact player very quickly.